One of my favorite poems uh, in the whole canon of English poetry is the short piece by George Herbert called Love. A poem that begins, Love bade me welcome, but my soul drew back, guilty of dust and sin. I have echoes of that poem in this, which is written in the foolish hope and dream uh, of the complete abolition of war in our time. My belief also in uh, doing things is that there is good and evil, and that if you think of that as an old-fashioned balance, a way, weights and measures balance, uh, everything that one does to the best of one's ability, that is good, is put on one side of the weighing scales and hopes to counterbalance the evil that is put on the other side. So I believe that the ordinary done well is also the powerful. The poem of the goldfinch. Right came the persistent whisperings, a poem on the mendacities of war. So I found shade under the humming eucalyptus and sat patienting. Thistle seeds blew about on a soft breeze. A brown gold butterfly was shivering on a fallen ripe flesh plum. Write your dream, said love, of the total abolition of war. Vivaldi, I wrote, the four seasons. Silence a while, save for the goldfinch swittering in the higher branches. Sweet, they sounded, sweet wit, 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 wit sweet. I breathed scarcely, listening. Love bade me write, but my hand held over the paper. Tell them you, I said, they will not hear me. A goldfinch swooped, sifting for seeds. I reveled in its colouring, such scarlets and yellows, such tawny, a patterning the creator himself must have envisioned, doodling that gold flash and Hopkins feathered loveliness. Please write, love said, though less insistently. Spirit, I answered, that moved out once on chaos. No, said love. And I said, Michelangelo, Van Gogh. No, write for them the poem of the goldfinch and the whole earth singing. So I set myself down to the task.